Now, I just want to exhale. I'm out here driving, feeling like a big girl with my big girl panties on, driving myself around. <laughs> it's like such a big deal. Um, yeah, I very rarely drove. I rented a car twice in Medida, but yeah, here I am, feeling all responsible and stuff. You don't know. It's crazy that feeling you feel like when you have to be at everybody else's mercy to get someplace. I literally just walked out of my house, jumped in the car, and boom. Now I'm out doing the damn thing. It feels good. So guys, one of the first things that I wanted to do was hit up Goodwill because unlike the house in Mexico, um, you know, there was no Goodwill. And I feel like I have a better opportunity of putting this house together on a budget um, as opposed to the way that it was done in Mexico where, you know, I look like a walking ATM and so I got hit with all the gringo tax available. So what I've been saying is that I want to decorate this house, get it done either by thrifting everything. So I'm going to be using a lot of repurposed goods. I'm going to be upcycling a lot of things. And then I'm going to be finally able to work with these brands who've been wanting to send me things. So I'm trying to minimize my dollar. Everybody is kind of on a budget right now. So what I plan to do is show you ways to actually make your space look luxe without spending all of your bucks. <laughs> so that rhymes, you know what? Always rapping. So you've seen round three, and now we are on round four of this move. Uh, obviously, I am no longer in Mexico. I am in America. Um, so I just want to go ahead and let you guys know that I am about to start this journey, which is going to be crazy. I can't even explain it. It sounds bonkers when I say it out loud. So... Um, I'm leaving my home now to go to start retrieving my things that are in storage. So I have a storage unit in Las Vegas and then I have a storage unit in San Antonio. Again, if you've missed any of the other rounds, segments, portions, parts, um, then you need to go back and watch those because then it will make sense. So. I have my storage unit in Las Vegas. I need to go there, get everything out that I'm no longer, you know, attached to. And then there are things that I am attached to. There's things in there that have sentimental value. There are some things in there that I need to sell. Um, so I need to do that. You know what I mean? So let's go. Okay, so this is what I have now for round four. My Calvin Klein trusty busty, um, but the other bags are inside of that bag so that I won't have to buy as many containers. And some stuff is soft goods, so I don't necessarily have to have bins for everything. So here we go. Why am I not shocked? 
three fucking extra hours delayed. Every flight that I've taken has been delayed. I just don't even want to fly anymore. I'm so fucking frustrated. I really don't have to say anything. My facial expressions says it all. So after six hours at the airport and several hours in the air, I finally made it to Las Vegas. Ugh. So before I went to my storage unit, I stopped at Walmart so I could grab a few more of those bins that I had bought in San Antonio so things could be stackable. I got some boxes and some tape, just the supplies that I would need once I got to my storage unit. Okay, so I don't even know what to call this day or this round, but I think we are in round four. Um, this is my first U-Haul rental. Um, I have other rentals coming up, but this is my first day going to my storage unit in Las Vegas so that I could go ahead and start sorting out what I need to get rid of, sell, and pack. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, and I'll bring you along real quick. I'm going to run through it in the video, but it's going to take me all day and probably the next few days to do this because I have to mind my back. So um yeah all right so vegas storage unit day one so i'm at my storage unit now i have no idea what the temperature is but i can tell you it's hot um but it still ain't medita to hot like it's hot in vegas but it's a dry heat so that's the saving grace even though it's still really hot and I just burned my leg on the railing on the um, the U-Haul um, because I went to open the door and I pressed up against it, burned my leg. So anyway, I am packing down my clothes first, um, mostly winter stuff because I didn't need any of this winter stuff in um, Mexico. So I'm just packing that down and then um, I have some valuable things in here that I need to pack, um, you know, so they don't get damaged. But I have a lot of empty containers. Like, remember from the last video I showed you, like, all of those containers are empty. I just bought two new containers from Walmart, but I bought the big ones so that all these bins are the same size and they can stack on each other. Uh, but then I have, like, all my model cars that I've been collecting for years. So um, if there are any collectors out there, just so you know, like, look at, I have so many of these. And they, these I started collecting like probably 20 years ago. Um, so yeah, there's some really nice ones and they all have been preserved properly they're all in their own boxes and like this is just part of it that's not even the whole thing like you see the boxes go back and then it goes down probably about 30 of them um i'm gonna probably start posting them and selling them so guys this is why i can't get rid of a lot of this stuff like are you familiar with the clippers number 21 Malik Sealy, rest his soul. This is signed by Malik Sealy. This is signed by Charles Oakley from the New York Knicks. This is signed by Dominique Dawes. Remember her in gymnastics? Oh my God, this was 1996. And I still have this and it's been preserved. I have basketballs, that's Shaquille O'Neal. I have this speed bag by Evander Holyfield. Um, and then this one was signed by uh, Bill, Bill Walton. Um, so yeah, they all have been preserved, just like my cars. And this is why I couldn't get rid of this stuff. And this right now, especially with the Olympics, 
I need to post this joint right now. All you can hear is the AC because I got so hot, I was like, I'm gonna have a fucking heat stroke. I need to just like sit down in the air and then finish up. Um, yeah, I've been at it for about an hour and 45 minutes and it's hot and I'm tired and it's hot. <laughs> so, whew, uh, I gotta put some stuff back inside and then I'll come back early in the morning. But right now, I just needed to get some air. some of this hot sun so we'll see how this goes I'm gonna finish up my bagel um, that I've been killing because one thing I love about Vegas they have vegan everything so I finally got my cream cheese from Sprouts yesterday mm. no good you know, hardly any good vegan stuff in Mexico. Like I told you guys before, their version of vegan is vegetarian. So a lot of times I had to deviate. They're more vegetarian than vegan, but I'm gonna get back on my game. Even though I'm not standing in Vegas, but you know. All right, let's go do this. We got a lot of work to do. doesn't look like a lot but trust me I got a lot done um, you can tell by the van because it's packed and then um, I'm still packing these things here but I'm taking the shelves apart now and believe it or not this is just a lot of stuff I'm gonna donate to Habitat for Humanity However, um, this is all stuff that I'm selling. So, uh, yeah, so far so good. So remember guys, um, if I didn't say this, I may have said it, it may got cut out, I don't know. So I have this van until I pick up my, um, my budget truck. This is making it easier for me while I sort out my storage unit instead of having to um, try to figure out how much room I have and all of that stuff. I know that if I pack this, um, this plus everything I have in San Antonio is still going to fit in my budget truck. So I'm just getting rid of everything. Things that I'm keeping is going in this van. And then when I get to San Antonio, I have to pack that stuff from that storage unit into the budget truck. There might be a little bit of a switch up. I don't know if they're gonna let me keep the same truck once I get to San Antonio, because I did end up booking two separate legs in order to save money. 
So we'll see. And oh, just let me let y'all know in case y'all didn't know, because I did not know this. Um, right on the budget website, if you look up, you'll see something that says deal. 20% off. Automatic. 20% off. But if you call them and you tell them that you were talking to the little chat thing, whatever, and it said for you to call to get 25% off, then you get 25% off. So I wish I had known this because I rented a budget truck when I was in Texas, remember? Um, if you didn't see that, go back and watch that video. Uh, that was uh, round one. Um, so yeah, I could have saved 25% had I known. I wish I had known this before. So anyway, um, yeah, time to get back to packing. All right. morning um it is day three of hitting the storage unit um i am almost done i got a lot of things sorted yesterday uh the things that i'm going to sell is now at my brother's house and i don't have to worry about it. i don't have to stress i can post as i need to post um because you know not in any rush that stuff been sitting there for over a year um and let's see what else i have to post the round three video uh by the time you see this the round three video will be posted and then i also need to go live so i don't know it's just there's so much stuff that i need to get you guys caught up on um hopefully i get it all done today like not hopefully like I say hopefully only because the heat has been getting to me to the point where I feel really nauseous. It's been like 110 degrees and unfortunately, even though I'm going in the morning, it's not as hot right now. It's just a little after 6 a.m. I'm running a little late, um, but once that sun starts hitting my unit, it is like it starts to heat up very quickly. All right, so let's do this shit. Hopefully the next time I check in, I don't look as bad as the last time I checked in yesterday. But I don't know. I can tell you this heat is no joke. But it still ain't many that heat. It still ain't that. This ain't that. All right, guys. So it's getting packed. So keep in mind, I have a truck. But that it's going to get transferred into. But it's getting there. This bin is going up on top of that red lid. The temperature it's about 90 degrees now but in about an hour it's going to be about a hundred yesterday when I left it was a hundred and ten <sighs> yeah so all right I'm gonna get back to work and I'll see you guys in a few okay bye all right it's getting there um, that's empty these cabinets are almost empty um, and the truck is starting to, the, the van is starting to fill up, but I still have room. I still have to make donations. So if it gets too close, I'm going to go and run and do the donations first and then come back. You guys don't even know the half of how many things I've actually flipped over the years. I love repurposing furniture. So that's why I'm keeping all of my stuff because I'm not starting from scratch, but I got projects. Look at your girl. This is when I was in the uh, Living Well um, section of Essence Magazine. This was 2003. Yeah, so this is way before YouTube, y'all. Like, I've been doing this stuff for a long time. So, I know some of y'all see these people on YouTube and, you know, y'all think I'm like, no, I am not brand new. I wish I was doing YouTube back then, but I don't even think YouTube was around when I, when I started doing my projects, but dang, look at you, girl. Here's another nugget why I can't throw this away. So this is when I was on the cover of the Washington Post. That's how long I've been doing this stuff. And this was, you can't really see it, but that was my house 
in Maryland before my divorce and I had did a whole stainless steel backsplash, all those glass cabinets. It was beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> That's my ex-husband, y'all, looking all Shamar Moore. Um, and then my son, my daughter, me. I look so young. Yeah, of course, you know, I have to hold on to these pictures, even though, you know, maybe I could cut him out and still have a good photo. I'm about to run this through Photoshop. Look at these, like, I can tell you right now, these are older than some of you who follow my channel. I have them in different sizes. Um, these I know are, I, I wanna say from the 60s. Look at these. These are a little scratched, but I have like a whole bag full of these and I had them on furniture at one point but then if I sell this furniture I took the knobs off and replaced it with some cheap shit because fuck that like you ain't getting my antiques okay guys Woo, almost fell over <laughs> so um yeah all the shelves are down um except for that one little baby one right there but I'm actually taking that with me um, so yeah, there's a couple things scattered on the floor, but I still need to make room in the van now, um, to get some more stuff over to my brothers so I can go ahead and sell it. But these I'm selling, these little, uh, the shelves that were here, gonna probably either give them away for free or sell them for like 10 or 15 bucks. Um, it's gas money. Gas money is gas money, y'all. And um, I need to eat. I've been out here for over five hours um, today. And like I told you guys this morning, like when I'm in my unit, you can see like the, the sun is literally right on my face. Um, you see that sun? It's hitting my unit. I have the um, door down somewhat to give me a little bit of shade. But yeah, it's just too hot. I'm hungry and I'm booked. So. I'll finish this either later tonight or more than likely tomorrow morning because I really want to go ahead and get a video out for you guys. <laughs> I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> good morning. <laughs> All right, guys. So it is now day four of me headed to my storage unit. Um, I decided to get up a little bit earlier because um, Emma, the property manager, she gave me 24 hour access. So um, it's a little after four and I'm going to go get started before this sun comes up because I have so much stuff to do today. Um, it has to get emptied today. So actually, I think I'm going to stop at Goodwill because I have some donations. Um, they are closed, but I don't care. You can drop stuff off. So I'm going to do that first and then head to my storage unit. So, all right, let me go for somebody to call the cops on me. <laughs> okay, guys. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, guys. So I just got to my storage unit. Um, I'm sitting in front of a really bright light, <laughs> thankfully. All right, I'm gonna get in the storage unit because that sun is gonna start coming up and it'll start getting hot. I'm almost done, um, but yeah, let's do it. Okay, so don't trip. Someone's coming to pick those up. Like I said, gas money is gas money. And so, yeah, if you want to help out, you want to donate a little bit of gas money, lunch money, anything like that, definitely hit me up. I am not turning it down. <laughs> this move has been so expensive. So thank you so much to all of you who have already chimed in with your donations i appreciate it i had several of y'all come in and help me pay for my bags at the airport like you wouldn't believe it some of y'all are just so generous and i really appreciate it because this is my mess i made it um 
not saying that people didn't learn from my experience or enjoy the experience. I get it. So if you get anything out of these videos at all um, and you feel like you want to help out, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Even if it's just a share, a like, a comment, um, anything to get the algorithm moving this video in the right direction. I appreciate all of that. All right, guys. I'm sweeping. You know what that means, right? If I'm sweeping, I am done. The van is packed to capacity. So what I'm going to do is when I pick up the budget truck after we transfer everything, um, I'll come and grab this stuff and put it in. Or I might just do that first when I get the truck. I don't know. It just all depends. Depends on my nephew because I need him to help me. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. I am tired. <laughs> My phone fell down. I'm tired. Let's get to it. <laughs> This looks scary. What's up? This little ramp. <laughs> Pretend. It's 105 right now. You can still get to 106. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so fucking hot. It doesn't help the tube it out too. Right. But just remember. I loaded all of that shit into the van by myself because oh. you was at work. I'm working in. But we're almost done. Don't forget Optimus. Yep. Oh, yeah. There's some stuff in Optimus, too. Oh, goodness gracious. Whew. Whew. We had to come inside for an oxygen break. <laughs> goodness gracious. <laughs> Get some air. Man. It's so hot out there. Day off, I'm like back at work. Bro. <laughs> oh my god. Whew. Need to let myself just kind of cool down for a minute. The heat will take you out. Oh yeah. You should have seen this place before I organized it. It looks really good now. Because <laughs> everything was coming all the way out here. And I had to get in there and play Jenga. And then I actually ended up deciding to bring a few more of my things instead of leaving them here. So, I'm good to go. Hey, good morning guys. Um, I am actually about to drive across country. Um, as you know, uh, if you have been keeping up with this series, Leave in Mexico, um, I have to go to San Antonio because I had my things delivered there from Mexico, well to um, Eagle Pass. So if you missed that video, you want to go back and watch so you do not like kind of lost like what's going on. This has been an actual series. So um, I am about to take off. Um, so this whole moving journey has been like a two month process trying to get out of Mexico. And I know a lot of people are like, well, why didn't you just have the first guy just do everything from Mexico to San Antonio or to wherever you're moving? Um, the thing is, I had to do things on my time. I had to finish cleaning up the house. I had to get everything packed down. Um, and it had to be within my timetable. If I had asked one person to do something, it would have been messy. Easier, probably on my back and my knees and all the traveling, my time, um, my mental state. Um, it has worn me down uh, emotionally, mentally, physically, but um, I definitely needed to do it in the time in which I had to do it. Um, breaking all of that stuff down was not easy. Getting down to, okay, I got these five outfits and, you know, my makeup bag 
and sorry I had to um I had to move out of the driveway so that my um, nephew could get out I had to move out of the driveway but anyway um yeah it was just a lot to try to condense into one move okay guys so here we go I have hit the road and I'm headed down to San Antonio because remember I have that storage unit there I keep saying this but I know some people skip around the video and don't watch the whole thing I can see it in my analytics just so you know I'm watching you anyway um, we are finally almost caught up I am working on round five right now as we speak um, this is round four make sure you are subscribed like share and do everything you can to help this out thank you to those who have actually sent gas money and hotel money and lunch money i love you i love you all and i'll see you in the next video bye